Hello, welcome to the Nicklin Law Group's Tip of the Day. This is attorney Brad Nicklin. I'm the managing member of the Nicklin Law Group, which is a law firm concentrated in men's and fathers' rights in divorce, custody, and family law issues, with offices in Nutley, Montclair, New Jersey. Today's tip is very simple but very effective. If you have either a high conflict case, custody issues, or some other contested issue, seriously contested issue, create internal inboxes in your email, um, whether you're using Gmail or Outlook or Office 365, you should have a way to create separate inboxes. So you already have things for your inbox mail, your spam, your trash. <clears throat> Almost all of these servers have a way to create separate internal boxes. And what you want to do is create ones that are going to cover the topics that you might be discussing later. For instance, if it's a, con a custody case, you're going to have you know scheduling conflict. Uh, you're going to have refusal to co-parent. You're going to have uh, child abuse issues possibly. And whenever you communicate with the other person regarding these issues, slide the email communication into this inbox or into the separate inbox. And the reason is, at some point, if you find yourself in court later, you want to be able to click onto this inbox, print all the messages out, and have all of them collectively in one place. You don't want to be digging through hundreds and hundreds of emails to get to these issues. You want to be able to get to them simply and quickly, even be able to forward them easily or upload them to Dropbox or Evernote and get them to your attorney or to the other side easily. For more information on this and other tips, go to my website, which is MicklinLawGroup.com. That's M-I-C-K-L-I-N LawGroup.com. It's all one word. You can call me at 973-562-0100 if you'd like to schedule a consultation. Or if you want more of these videos, they are on my website, but you can also go to my YouTube page, which is Brad Michael Micklin. Thank you.